A couple of years ago, if you knew the term port forwarding, ISPs did allocate an actual public IP address to their customers unlike today's context, where your actual public IP address and the IP allocated to you by the ISP differs. Port forwarding was a lot simpler to achieve back then. Only a few tweaks in the router connected to your ISP. But now, you will have to buy a public IP address if you need to do such a thing, which brings us to the content of this video. How to wormhole your way into the internet for accessing your devices into your network. There are many services that offer to tunnel your private network through their own network and expose it on the internet like a wormhole. One service I am pretty much using is Dataplicity. If you visit their website, it is clearly stated in the simplest possible way. And setting it up is not rocket science in any possible way. Add zone. You start by creating an account or in my case, I have already have an account so I will just sign in. But before that, let's see the pricing and verify that it is totally free to use. There are limitations but you would really face the bottleneck on a single device with features like a sudo remote terminal, website forwarding, SSH, VNC, HTTPS 500 MB per day at 10 Mbps burst enough for small scale uses. So signing in, if I can remember my credentials correct, I already have my Pi server added. But for a new account, you will just click on add a device and copy the line of code into your terminal and it will take care of the rest. You can basically manage your device from the pigs and it also gives you a custom wormhole URL to access your Pi services like a web page or something. Now, I haven't started Dataplicity isn't in my Pi, which I will quickly do. SSH into the Pi and start the agent. And it shouldn't take more than a minute to connect to the Pi as you can see. have already acquired a sale and can do possibly anything for the internet as a remote terminal. I have a web service locally running in my Pi and this wormhole address should automatically tunnel into the web service of my Pi. So the Pi has a local IP of 192.168.0.101 with a web service and the wormhole address does the same. And besides, you don't need to log in to your Dataplicity page to access the server since it doesn't change at all and all you need to do is to start the agent once after each boot and yeah pretty much it